So we've got all our holes dug. We add a handful of compost to each bed. Now we have a sandy loam soil here, so we need to have a little bit of extra organic matter in the soil to help hold moisture there during the summer. Um, but for the most part, you really don't need to add much to your pony, peony beds. Um, we added some azomite and some slow release alfalfa meal uh, fertilizer to each hole. You don't need that, um, but these are fresh beds for us and we want to stimulate and activate some of that um, microbiology in the soil before we get our roots in the ground. This is a peony root. Um, today we're planting a carnation bouquet and this is what they look like. So each one of these pink um, knobs on the head of the root here, these are called eyes. And these will either turn into flowers next year, the big ones, or the really small ones uh, may just turn into green shoots. Um, but this is what a peony root looks like, and you're gonna plant it down into the soil horizontally, and each one of these eyes needs to be about uh, one to two inches below the soil line. Any shallower, and you risk plant freezing, um, and any deeper, you're not gonna get any flower. You might get some green growth, but you're not gonna get the flowering that you need from your plants. Um, so the eyes need to be about one to two inches below the soil. So I just drag my bag or bulb crate um, down along with me. Each one of these roots is individually labeled, uh, but I'm just gonna label the front of the row so I take the tag off. I kind of dig out to the side. I want the eyes into the center of the hole. So I'm just going to dig out the side here. Slide my root in and I'm gonna build up some soil under kind of packed it down actually underneath um, where the crown is, where the eyes are, and I'm gonna fill in. Um, it's because as this gets water on it, uh, that is going to sink a little bit. And we don't want it to sink any deeper than that uh, one to two inches. So we're just gonna fill in the soil around the top of it, soil off our weed fabric here, and that peony's done. One row of 25 to go, and uh, we have a lot more beds to plant, but uh, they're not shipped in yet, so I wanted to get these ones done, because every time I get a bed planted, it's one less I have to do in the future, and I know future Andy's gonna be sick of planting peonies here, so thanks, current Andy.